Welcome to our hub identification class. Here is where we identify the common remedies that grow in our backyard, in the, our locality. And when we identify them well, we are able to uh, help them to reverse some of the conditions that we have or help us to strengthen our immune system. Remember that in this class, we have the anchor points that we look into, into when we are restoring the health, and that is we must follow the laws of health, good diet, exercise, water, and uh, being in the sun, having enough rest, being temperate, discarding that which is, which is wrong for your system, and using uh, moderately that which is good for you, and having proper rest, and also living a life that is connected with God. And with that in mind, now we can look into this good and very important half for our system. And that is Tylosema fasoglens. And that is a common name called Creeping Bauhenia. It is a vine plant with a big rooting system underground and majorly known for blood detoxification. I believe it is a common hub that you have ever seen and identified in localities that you are in. It has a big root, like the one that has been carried, almost standing to 20, uh, 50, uh, 20 to 30 kilograms. And it have to dig, you have to dig deep in order to remove it. It has pods, it has leaves, and most of the times we use the leaves, the, 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 the vines, the, the pods, and the seeds, more so for bringing down any complication in your system. What, is, what are its medicinal properties? One of the greatest half for the nervous system. It helps with the nervous system, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, Lyrex disease, and epilepsy. It has a fairly strong regenerative effect upon the nervous system. It means it's able to regenerate your nerves. Memory loss also is one of them. It also helps as a balancing effect upon the tissues. And uh, that is why, uh, the reason why this is so, it regenerates and reju rejuvenates your tissues. It's used for depression, anxiety, and irritability. It's great for insomnia. Uh, a great aid with headaches and cramping of all types, including menstrual, so women can use it. Has antiparasitic properties, including antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral diseases. We use it for typhoid, for brucella, for um, for typhoid and amoebosis and cholera. It is shown to have a very positive effect against the HIV virus. Has anti-inflammatory properties and will help somewhat in sciatica. If you have a straightened uh, sciatic uh, nerve, it is able to relieve you. Now, uh, we use it for, we use the back, the, the, the root, sorry, for most of this uh, problem. If you have it in powder form, you'll use three tablespoons in a glass of hot water for steeping. For decoction, you use about half a glass in one liter of water, steep overnight and, and simmer it for, for about 10 minutes and then take it in. Um, and uh, the leaves are good for eliminating constipation. You boil the leaves and then you take in the, the tea for a problem with your stomach. Uh, Used in colds and respiratory congestive issues. In fact, one of the best, another good app that I've found for, for chest complications, even pneumonia, is taking the decoction made from the root of this herb. It is also taken as a beverage. It is not very bitter. Uh, it has a coffee taste. So if, you, if you're making, preparing your teas, you can make it as a, a nice tea for you. It is helpful in Parkinson's disease because it helps to redeve redevelop and regenerate the, the neurons. Taken to treat gastrointestinal problems, any stomach ache, 
Uh, you just need to know which kind of stomach problem are you having. Is it aggravated by when you are eating food or is it aggravated when you take inflammatory uh, foods? Or uh, is it caused because of uh, overeating or a lot of uh, fermentation within the wards? It is used against anemia, fever, and pneumonia and to heal the uterus against childbirth. So after childbirth, you can use it to help heal the uterus as well as to help with the elimination of the placenta. The pulverized powder is taken for the treatment of venereal diseases like typhoid, uh, gonorrhea, herpes uh, simplex or zoster, and uh, also uh, syphilis. The leaf sap is applied to treat inflammation of the middle ear. You use the sap on both the ears. Infusions of powder flowers are drunk against jaundice and hypertension. Yeah, mostly, most people use it uh, for hypertension. It is a good half for hypertension. A decoction of the roots and flowers is drunk to treat impotence. And if you feed on the, uh, on the seed made from it, it is able to cure impotence. Using expelling the afterbirth, you use the, 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 the root decoction. Root decoction is used against typhoid and amoeba used in treating dysentery. And uh, tylosema phasoglens is used for the management of postpartum uterine healing importance in hypertensive diseases is health in treating of asthma attacks so i believe that we have learned and we've seen what god has for us in nature uh, we need to know how to create formulas out of this and we do powerful extraction and some of the times you don't need to be sick in order to be in this regimen but Take them as our favorite tea every day, and our body will be able to uh, to work well and effectively be protected. Eat well, plant your gardens, eat from your garden. Mostly, most of the food should be from your garden. Love farming and help others alongside other eight laws of health that we had mentioned. God bless you and.